Thank you. Right. Um, yeah. Great. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. I'm so sorry we're late. I, are you ready, Mr... Uh... Tony? Great. Um, we're recording. Sorry, I should just mention, this is my first time as an interviewer, so apologies for any mistakes along the way. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I shouldn't <clears throat> be here. Okay, quiet on set in three, two. Thanks for joining us today, Tony. Before we talk about the film, I'd like to ask, what made you get into acting? Acting? Yeah. Well, I dressed as the Joker for Halloween a few years back. The new one. Joaquin Phoenix. Pardon? The actor. So, so what happened? Uh, so I did my hair the same way as him, makeup, costume. And I swear, some people said, wait, Whack on Phoenix is here. <laughs> and then they said, oh, no, it isn't. But that's a really good impression. I mean, I didn't hear all of it. It was something like that. People were saying it. And then uh, a film or TV agent was there or something and got my phone number, one thing led to another, and um, blam. Great. <laughs> so, um, moving on to the movie. Um, first of all, I loved it. Really, really uh, diverse and interesting set of characters. I mean, quite a traditional story for an action movie at first, but got that great twist. Sorry, um, <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing. Um, I'm just having a bit of trouble finding your name on this list here. Could, could you just remind me which character you played in, in, in the movie? Sorry, it's been a bit of a really, really um, stressful morning. I'm just, I'm just struggling to remember the faces of people in the, in, in the film. No, not at all. Um, I played the role of D da, da. Daniel? Daniel. Yeah. Danny boy. <laughs> How could I forget? I started to think my name was Daniel by the end of the film. Sorry, I don't have that name here. Maybe it wasn't Daniel. De Dennis? Can't see that either. I mean, that's strange because he was quite an important character. But uh, as a good actor, sometimes you do start to blend into the narrative and become a bit unnoticed yeah i sure it's just we don't we, I mean, we ultimately can't... my job is all about exploring the character's motives how he responds to people his moods insecurities his strengths and asking that same question who is dylan you mean dennis yeah so actually who who, who is dennis in terms of the the movie hit the nail on the head there it's a tough one do i have the right the right sheets, because I, I can't see anyone called. No, he's there. And actually, I wasn't cast in normal circumstances either. No? No. So the director invited me to the set just to take a look around, see what I made of things. And um, I ended up actually doing some scenes sort of off the books. Oh, so that's why you're not credited? Probably. OK. So, so the director of the movie invited you to the set? She did. And before I knew it, I was asked to stand in for one of the scenes, glance at the sides, see what I was dealing with. Uh, very simple line. Excuse me, sir, you cannot go in there. I mean, I'm used to more substantial dialogue, of course, but very happy to lend a hand to the director on this occasion. So I read the line like this. Uh, um, sorry, so a man's about to go in somewhere where he's not allowed to go. Got it. And I'm working there and prohibiting access from said area. So. Excuse me, sir, you can't go in there. Great. So, um. No, let's... sorry, hang on, let me get that one. Um, excuse me, sir. You cannot go in there. Staff, staff only. I added that bit on the end. 
stunned silence on the floor. Director came over, simply said, that was something. And I knew what she meant. She meant breathtaking. Cream de la cream of performances, she thought. Very flattering, I mean, exceptional director. Although, in this case, no direction was required. I don't really remember that scene. I mean, yeah, the, the screening was a few days ago. I, I might be wrong. In the edit, difficult but understandable cuts have to be made. And unfortunately, some scenes do get taken out. Oh, wait. Uh, there was a line in a supermarket. Some, someone said, um, don't go in there. Yeah, that was me. I'm sure that was a blonde woman. Yes, but it was still a great performance. And that's what counts. So, um, what would you what would you say was your your favourite scene in the in, in the movie? The explosion bit. What did your character do in that in that scene? I was all over the place during that bit. Okay, can we can we pick up from here? So, your character was in the opening with the huge explosion. Loved that. Just straight into the action there. So, um, so how did you prepare for that scene? And where do we first see your character? I was um, in the HQ. Right. <laughs> of course, the, most of the movie is mainly based in, in the HQ building. Yeah. The movie's called The Headquarters. Yeah. <laughs> I think I know the name of the movie that I was in. <laughs> We're interviewing the director today. We have our agent's number. Should we just ask her? I'm sure she could shed some light on this for us. Oh, well, no, no, I wouldn't do that. Why not? Well, she'd probably think it's pretty silly to ask if Tony Wiggle was in the movie. Your name's Tony Wiggle? No, not Tony Wiggle, Tony Wessel. I think we should just text her, just clear things up. I'd leave it. Listen, Tony, I'm going to ask you a question and I, I really need you to answer honestly, OK? Shoot, mate. Were you an actor in this film? I think we've already established that my role as Daniel was a Dennis. huge... Dennis. Huh? You, you said your character's name was Dennis. I can't do... I can't do this. Sorry. Can we just... Can we just cut? We done? Great job, everyone. No! Uh, no. Love your work. Sorry! We haven't even started. <laughs> I need these interviews to go well today. I'm only here because someone called in sick. OK? I really need this to go well. It'll look great once it's edited. They're going to love the walking Phoenix anecdote. I've been anecdote. in an assistant position for six years. Please, I need this interview to work. All right? I am not going to get this chance again. When I came in today, I saw all the oh cameras God. and I, I sat down here. It's fine. OK. <laughs> OK. Look, sorry. I'm just the receptionist. So sorry, Tony. Ha! Whew. Just being silly. Let's continue. It's just been a really, really stressful morning and I'm just, um... <laughs> I don't know what's come over me. Let's move on with some more questions. So I'm going to ask you, how did you deal with the, the surprise twist at the end of the movie? Are we recording? We are recording, Oh, yeah. really? Oh, that's a shame. No, let's just, let's just go. Oh. Okay. Okay. You ready, right. Tony? <clears throat> oh, uh, really? Okay. I mean, that's a shame. Oh, well, that was my agent. My car has burst. What? My car's tyres have all burst. Ed, uh, thank you so much, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure. Great job. So no, I'll see you at the premiere. No, so the, well, the premiere was two days ago. Good. See you guys. Wait. What's up? You're not an actor, are you? Of course I am. <laughs> OK. What movies have you been in? That one. And loads of others. No, I really need to go. My Name car one. has exploded. Jumanji? Right. Get him out of here! Oh! Uh, you dropped your student card. 
Can we reset, please?